everybody, I'm Steph, and I'm we're Michael. back. We're going to be playing a game. Yeah, Windmill Cozy Stories. Cozy Stories. Yep. It plays from three to five players in 20 to 40 minutes. Nice. And we actually have a very special guest on the line, and it's Shrey. Shrey in <laughs> You could space. probably hear him if he says something. Maybe. No, in space, no one can hear you scream. Oh, maybe not. I'm here. You're here. Okay. There he is. <laughs> Well, but let's go ahead and go straight let, to let's the overhead. go straight to the overhead and see what we're looking at here. Because Shrey is there, too. Hey, Look. there he is. Here's Shrey. Welcome, How welcome. Cool is that? So happy to have you here to help us play some three-player games. Because uh, nice. we need to get the three-player games out of the three-player bin. Yeah, and if this actually works well on a stream, maybe we can play this during uh, the special publisher night with uh, Crow D Games. That's right. That's... This is from Crow D. Yeah, and so we're definitely going to play Ganesha, uh, which is their new title this year. And they send us a whole bunch of other games, so we'll see what we're going to we're gonna pick out and play that night. And yep. it's going to be a good night whenever that is. I haven't planned that one out yet, but it's cool to get a jump on things by playing games first. Yep. And this looks really beautiful. Yep. I love this artwork a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's very attractive. Yep. So this has got uh, sort of uh, similar scoring mechanisms uh, for with, to games like Dixit. Oh, okay. Uh, matter of fact, you could probably use these cards for Dixit if you wanted to because they, they are the a bit artwork, smaller. But yeah, they are well, they are smaller. These are larger. Oh, those are the Dixit size and cards. And these are for the storyteller. Oh, cool. So, um, you might be able to use it for that. And look, the artwork is pretty Stunning. fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. So, mm -hmm. in Windmill Cozy Stories, we are storytellers and we're weaving short tales um, based on the hidden picture cards that you draw. And when it's your turn, just tell a story. The other players are going to attempt to guess the visible card that matches your story. But the best stories are not quite so obvious. The more opponents they guess incorrectly, the more points you're going to receive when a player does identify your card. So probably the more players you have, the better. Okay. Um, on the other hand, if all players fail to guess your picture, you lose points instead of win them. So that's not great. <laughs> so... Um, with three players, we are going to play three rounds, each of us telling the story once. So that would be a full, basically, nine nine guess, okay. nine round game is what sure. it would be, basically. Yeah. Um, where everyone is telling the story three times. Um, we've got all of the 25 cards shuffled here. 24 and then one off here to the side. This is the scoring Pat, and there's a windmill up here, and I'm going to explain what that's for in a minute. Okay. So, uh, I am always always blue, Steph is always red, and Shrey is always yellow. So Whenever he doesn't have to fight Scott or Dan. Because they choose yeah. yellow too? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I let, I'll let Scott have yellow, but I, won't, I don't let Dan have yellow. So. <laughs> yeah. That's so, you come in the middle on the hierarchy of yellow. Yellow. <laughs> Yeah. Scott's really so, particular, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy, though. Uh, so, to score the most points, we the storyteller should give hints about the correct card, but not be too straightforward. Uh, if it's not guessed at all, then the storyteller loses a point. So, storyteller, let's go ahead and let that be me. That's you. <laughs> I'm going to draw the top card, and I'm going to secretly look at it without showing it to you guys. And the card... Uh, that I draw is going to match one of these 25 cards. Then I'm going to create a short tale that relates to this card. I am not that good at it. Okay, that's fine. Unfortunately. You don't have to So be. we'll see how this works. <laughs> Your story should only last, you know, maybe three to four sentences, 30 seconds at most. Um, for example, how about a story for this card right here? I wandered through the night. Flickers of light guiding my way and leading me to a warm and safe place. And as I found my place in this warm embrace, I couldn't help but think that someone or something was watching over me. <laughs> and it, it could be that this. Was, that was it, very poetic. It could be this. It that could was be this. very poetic. I'm definitely not poetic like that. Um, so. I'm very more literal. Uh, I assume I can't say the cat at night. You can. <laughs> and then we'll all guess that. And then you will. Lose. Lose. <laughs> so, 
Starting with the player sitting on the left of the storyteller and moving clockwise, players are going to try to guess the storyteller's card. When it's your turn to guess, choose one card from the grid you think best corresponds to the storyteller's tale and place it in front of you. If your guess is correct, then the storyteller reveals the hidden card. The guessing phase ends immediately and points are scored. If your guess is incorrect, then the next player will make a guess from the remaining 24 cards. This continues until a player has guessed correctly or until all players have had one chance to guess. If all players agree, you can use a timer if you want, mm, but we don't fine. need that. No. So if you okay. so if you guess correctly and you were the first player to guess, then both you and the storyteller score a point. Each additional guesser will add one point to the total. Well, that makes it if it's obvious, then both you and the storyteller get a point. If all players, if no players guess correctly after all guessers have taken a turn, the storyteller loses a point. On your turn to guess, though, you could use this windmill card to capture the story for extra points. If you are super confident, you know which card matches the story being told. Take this mm. and place it before in front of you before you make your guess. And that doesn't mean like in the middle of the story, I don't guess. But uh, it's, uh, it's just before you make your guess. If your guess is correct, you will score one extra point and the storyteller will score zero points. So I guess there's the catch. If it's so super obvious that you do the windmill, then, so since Shrey is sitting to my left, he would get to go first, guessing first. And if he is super confident, he'll take the windmill. And if he guesses correctly, he'll get two. I get nothing. Hey. If he doesn't take the windmill and he guesses correctly, he gets one. I get one. You get nothing, Steph. If Shrey misses it, then you get it. Okay. Then I get you get guess. one. And I get one. Okay. Or or you get two if you've got the. If, if I you think I know what it is. And I get nothing. Oh if man. Neither so you, you get don't it, even want to be anywhere close to obvious. But you also don't want to be so far off that neither of you get it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and again, that's sort of the whole Dixit thing, right? Yeah. You're I trying mean, to there's make... like another layer here, though. Like. Um. If your guess is not correct, you lose a point. It, and uh, oh, if you guess the windmill, you lose a point if your guess is not correct. So I guess if you're wrong, you just don't score a point. You don't lose a point. If you guess the if you choose the windmill, you're risking a point. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we're all on zero. I would think so. Uh, I'm It'd not be great sure if I started if you can go with like negative. a 15 point bonus though, because I'm gonna lose some points. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it places their color on the starting space of the points track. So, uh, I don't know if you can go negative. So. Oh, I can. <laughs> oh, you can. So, uh, the game ends after three rounds. We don't have to play all three rounds, but. We can play a few rounds, what, see what, what happens. We've got. So, I'm going to look Michael's at Michael's first. He's going to tell us a, a poetic story. I got a really good, I got a really good one for a card I hope I get, or <laughs> something. I'm trying to plan. So Michael's going to come up with a story, and then I will try to guess it. Yes. If I get it right, I, we get it both, but I get a point. If I get it wrong, Steph gets to guess, and if she gets right, then she gets two points. All right, well, one more time. I was, I'm thinking of my story. I oh, know you think of your story. Do that. Oh, sorry. Um, you can, if you think you know exactly what it is, Trey, you can take the windmill and try and get two points. Right. That, and if you don't get it right, then I can take the windmill and try and get two points. We don't know if there's a penalty if we get it wrong because we're at zero. There's right, because no we're all at zero, it. so it may not be a penalty. There's probably not a penalty for so it. So why not take the windmill? I would in the first round, but once you have points, it's a then it's more of a. So maybe that's a first first player disadvantage because if if people take oh, the windmill, oh, time roller thinks don't you add a point for each wrong guess? So would Michael get a point uh, if look, you guessed wrong? 
Or would I get a point, maybe? If you guess correctly and were the first player to guess, then both you and the storyteller score a point. Each additional guesser adds one point to the total. Each additional guesser? Right. Did the exa read the example. If the fourth player after the storyteller guesses the card, both they and the storyteller would score four points. Oh, right, so. so if Shrey doesn't get it and Steph gets it, then that's two for Steph and two for me. Right. Or you get three if you take the windmill and I get nothing. Ooh. Better not get it wrong. He's so cute. Uh I gotta I gotta figure this out. Um Players who do not have any points may not use the windmill card. Okay. Oh. Well there you go. Yeah, if I had had more time no, I to know. prepare, I that, would have okay. gotten all the little details. Unfortunately, I could not do that. Kind of threw it at you, but... Yeah. Um... It is beautiful. i take a picture. Yeah, I'm, I just, I, I, I'm not ever, I'm sorry, I'm not ever good at creating stories from scratch, especially trying to mislead. It's either way too obvious or way too, so, but yeah, you don't add a point for each, you add a, you add a point, you don't add a point for each wrong guess, but you add a point for each wrong guesser, which is pretty, essentially the same thing. Um... All right, I'm going to try this. It's nighttime, and the majestic animal uh, is among the plants. Um, the wind blowing uh, all around. Uh, I think I'm going to stop there. <laughs> it's not a very long story. It's fine. Mine will be very short. Well, you don't know. You don't have your card yet. I know. I wish I had my card. All right. Shrey's going to be first. All right. I'm going to go with the, uh, what is that? Is that a deer in the, in the top row? Second the, from the right. The deer in the top row. Yes, would you, that one. Would you like to use the windmill? You can't. Oh, he can't use the windmill because he's got zero points. Do I get to vote? No. Uh, it is the deer. Once I get a correct guess. I wanted to vote for the so deer. He gets one, I get Dang one. Dang it. So I didn't... I, I, I was hoping... With this one right next to it, I was hoping... I know. I was and there's another animal here. I was also thinking that one because it kind of has wind blowing. So, yeah. This wasn't at night. Well, I was... I would, huh? That's not at night, though. No, it is not. The deer enough. feel the deer feels more majestic to me. I agree. Than a than a unicorn. Than a unicorn. Oh, you shuffle them all back, so I might get the same card. Uh, I wasn't told to not. Okay, I just didn't know. I mean, it says return the cards to the grid, so otherwise you're going to end up taking cards out. So I guess Shrey is next. We're gonna show you. Um, you're gonna We're gonna show Shrey a card. Um, I've I'll got close it here. My eyes. I've got it here, but I'm and I'm I'm not gonna look myself. So, all right, ready, Shrey? I'm gonna turn it over. Right, it's yep, probably gonna right. show up on your screen in about thirty seconds or whatever. So. Yeah. And tell me if you need it moved any, or turned upside okay. down. I'm I'm good. I'm good. You're, you're good. You it. need it flipped back. Uh, flip it back over. Yeah, right. because I have I have these. You've got, all you've got all you need. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I gotta think about this now. So yeah, I'm I'm bad at I'm bad at the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're you'll do a lot better. I would imagine certain cards go really well with other cards. And so more cards in this would be good. Mm. With uh, crossover themes. Yeah. So yeah, he, he wants me to not get it correctly and then you to get it correctly. Then you both well, That would be it. optimal. Right. So if Shrey had guessed this one. That would have been good. You had guessed that one. That would have been perfect for right. me. Right, right. And that's what I was trying to go for. Right. But it's acceptable for me to yeah. do that since he can't take the windmill. This, I mean, if you made it less general with like an animal, like that could have also been... The living being? <laughs> yeah. Is among the lights or something, and At night. but if if you and Shrey both miss it, I get screwed. Hey, mom gamer, welcome to the hey, chat. Derek. Yeah, I said Derek, if you want to join the call, you can. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is windmill cra- uh, cozy stories. Yeah, we could put that in the somewhere. Well, there's not much room, but yeah. How about that? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. Shrey probably needs the... Uh, oh, Shrey's got the... Got, I uh, gave him a picture of all the pictures. Shrey's got the pictures. Yeah. In case it's harder to see on the on the laptop. Oh, you've got to neutralize it, though. Boop. Oh, look at that. Now it's clear. Yeah. Yeah. Is it coming up with a story that isn't obvious is kind of hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you see. <laughs> it's, really, it's really not easy. If I get, like... One of three cards, I'll be okay. <laughs> you want to be able to tell it so there's like two or three that it could be. He's so cute. There's so many cutes. The oh. pumpkin and the other pumpkin are so cute. That's my story. <laughs> the pumpkin and the pumpkin, they're so cute. <laughs> All right, all right. I, I gotta. I, I'm, I'm like, like, like Michael. I'm not particularly good at this, but we'll try this. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> board, board gamer Steph is not playing. I put game windmill cozy stories, and it said both and Michael. Board gamer Steph is you have not to, playing. That you're on the wrong stream. You have to get out and go back in. Oh, well, what kind of crap is that? All right, all right. So we're gonna say. Um, at least I think. People are watching, so. I'm watching. All right. Exploration was a tough game, especially when, when he had to watch out for the giant creatures. I mean, I... The, the only thing that comes to mind is this card here, it, which is the book with the boat and a whale. Is she correct? Is that your answer? Yeah. Is that that is incorrect? Oh, oh no! Screwed. And that was a good clue. Exploration. And only if Michael gets it, I suppose. <laughs> Exploration is a tough game. Got to watch out for the creatures. giant creatures. So it could be the dragons. It could be. Yeah. The kid with the book. Could be the giant kitty cat of the world. <laughs> uh, I think. I have a, another guess. <laughs> guess how many guesses you get? One. You get exactly one guess. Uh, I am going to go for. I'm not confident in my in my answer, so I think I will take two points along with. Sh- I think we each get two points if this is. Uh, if you if, if I, you are correct, then each additional guesser adds one point to the table. Yeah, otherwise you, really would, you would lose it, right? The windmill. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go with the fairy with the dragons. No, that's not correct. Oh, what was it? Was it this one? What? what? Let's find out. <laughs> oh no! I was also thinking this one because, but I, it's I the giant fish. Like, Those are giant fish compared to the yeah. 
That's hard. Yeah, that's hard. I figured that I, I was worried that the that you might not notice that the, the, the diver is in there. No, I I definitely noticed it, and uh, I, but it was definitely not my first guess. Cozy stories. I'm gonna try this again. Stories. Come on. S T O R I E S. Got it. <laughs> there you go. Nope. No, board gamer stuff is not playing. Your your uh, nightbot is screwed. Oh. All right. So what happens? Do 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 each of us? I don't lose a point. The storyteller. I, I think loses I, I think I think I lose a point. So yeah. we are going fabulously here. <laughs> There's Steph's card. Give me a good one. Give me something okay. good. Do the nightbot likes me. That's that's there you go. Huh? The nightbot. The nightbot likes me. The nightbot likes, <laughs> likes me. What kind of crap is this? <laughs> it's because you gave the nightbot it's a the, lot of grief. <laughs> it's like it's like Alexa liking me instead of oh stuff. Oh my god. Alexa won't listen to her. All right, so Steph's coming up with a story now. Steph is, is coming Steph? up with a story. Um. <laughs> this pumpkin likes to fly high. Oh, of course it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Of course it's a pumpkin. Huh. Is okay. So I guess this is that's all you got. Uh that's all you need, I mean. Um uh, Being in the sky is so happy. Alright, I'm gonna choose that one. Nope. Nope. What are you choosing? Which Trey? one did you choose? I chose Which the. One did you choose? I chose the unicorn. unicorn and a coffee cup. Okay. He's flying high above the coffee cup. All right. Um. I have one of. I think I've narrowed it to two. And I'm going to go with the uh, top left bunny in the in the magic hat. That is correct. Ta da! Two nice. points. <laughs> I was going. I was that's gonna, not I, a pumpkin. I, that's pumpkins. That's a pumpkin. He's so happy. He's not flying. He is. He's flying in a hat. <laughs> he's being towed. And he's no, like he's, he's sleeping in, in the sun. <laughs> Shrey understood. <laughs> Shrey I mean, if you're in a if you're in an airplane, you're flying, right? You're not being towed by the airplane. <laughs> Technically. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. So, you're supposed... When you tell the story, they're supposed to... You try to connect it to the previous story. But, no. I mean, that's just... It's too hard. It's too hard. It's hard. Yeah. Uh, And I'd never be able to do that, so... Does it not have a pumpkin? Does it not have a pumpkin? Yeah. This might have a pumpkin. I don't. Yeah, I can't so tell cute. you. He's so cute. Love him. <laughs> I wonder why. Nightbot does not like you, Michael. I don't know. Because Shrey literally wrote the exact same thing. Uh, in fact, I copy and pasted it. <laughs> I suspect it's because... I suspect it's because Michael's a VIP but not a moderator. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, I'm not a moderator. I see what this I is. I thought a VIP was all-encompassing. Apparently not. No, I'm just important. You're just important. (laughs) Oh, then I should probably uh, make you a mod. 
Um, Because I, I don't think I could check it as VIP and mod. Why do animals like to sleep next to large buildings? The world may never oh, know. Shrey gets to guess first. Shrey gets to guess first. Um, well, I have we'll a go guess. with... We'll go with the snail at the bottom. That the, is the castle. Incorrect. Really? No. That was my guess. Oh. Okay. Why do animals like to this one? He's That's correct. He, this That's how that works. There's an animal there? Yeah, it's there, a big dragon. A dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And that was exactly the I was confusion gonna guess, I, I was wanted gonna to go guess for. that one. Well, I'm glad I got. I would have gotten like either of you. Because it looks like he's sleeping. He's tired. Well, yeah, that's and that the dragon is sleeping as well. That's so. true. He is. And they're both large buildings. Poor so Shrey is disadvantage. <laughs> hey, he can zoom in, and you can't. I mean, I can zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shrey. Here's your card. We would look away. I look. You're looking away. Does right. it look good to you? Uh, yeah, I, I got it. I got it. You can flip it back over. Got it. So the time lag isn't that bad. <laughs> it must be really good. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what what this. Mm, Rainer made me a mod. You won't make me a mod. <laughs> You're a VIP. Only one person could be a VIP. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't be a mod. And a VIP? I can't. Does that make me a VIM? Yeah. <laughs> very important mod. <laughs> very unimportant Michael. No. Mm. <laughs> Nobody has been brave enough to use the windmill yet. At some point, I'm going to have to do it to catch up. Because we're halfway through the game. Hey, I'm doing all right. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. I wonder why a windmill. Because. No, I, I understand. That's like, yeah, but. They, because large goldfish wasn't, it wasn't uh, descriptive <laughs> enough. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to go with. And Firefox um, was taken. Um. <laughs> After the animal woke up next to the building, see, I'm connecting it to the previous Yes, one. good job. <laughs> nice. They, they decided they wanted to find find their friends and keep the story going. I'm going to go with the fish with the boat building. Incorrect. Hat. Dang it. Nope. I'm hoping it's the same as my animal and that it's this over here with the fairy book. Correct. No. Ding, 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 what ding, the ding. heck? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you could have, you could have, if you were so sure, you should have I was used not sure. I should if I had done it. Oh, I would have had six points. That would have been oh, so awesome. that would have been really good for you. Would have. Would have been six or three. I would have had one additional point, and Shrey would have had no points. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would get no points for that. That's yeah, if I windmill it, then you get no points. As it is, you and I both get two points. I was not brave enough to use the windmill.
it would be good if we could like pre-plan our stories, but then we'd have one card knowledge of what it is not. Mm. Yeah. Which might be, which which would probably give somebody an advantage, like a yeah. like too much of an advantage. Yeah. This like. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're sitting there holding the snail with the castle, you're not going to guess it. You'll guess, you'll look right. for the other one. All right, here it is. Here it is. Ready to pounce with the fiery rage on its prey. Ready to pounce with the fiery rage on its prey. Yeah, there's a couple of them it could be. Mm, yeah, there is. Um, do I do I risk <laughs> using the windmill? You gotta demonstrate the windmill. <laughs> Just be wrong about it. <laughs> no! How about that one? You're supposed to guess the fox. No, he wasn't ready to. He wasn't ready to pounce. <laughs> <laughs> he is ready to pounce. All right, so do I lose points and you gain lots of points? Is hey, I happens? demonstrated the windmill as as requested. I didn't really mean for you to succeed at that. <laughs> Dang it! If I just said. Fire. If you just say the word fire, I mean, it could be several. I know. I guess you could do that if you want. In my opinion, there are three possible fire answers. And see, I think that's a weakness with Dixit and related games is that sometimes people will, they'll cut their stories like super, super short. One, because it's hard to think of things. And two, because they want to have that misleading thing in there. The more you keep your mouth open, the more you're going to reveal. And so people do these intentionally little short snippet misleading. Yeah. Dang it. I'm not supposed to guess it. Everyone pretty much agrees that games bring flavor to life. Psh. Psh. What? I know what it is. Well, then I'll give you the windmill unless Shrey decides well, he wants to Well, Shrey probably it. wants the windmill. Oh, does, uh, do you go down a point for the windmill? That's what I was wondering. No. No, it's just, I just that don't you get don't get any. anything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Um, bring games to life. I'm not seeing it. Good. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I must be missing something. Okay. Steph's dying to get three points. <laughs> I could be wrong. You could be wrong. That would also be funny. That would be hilarious. All right, I'm just going to go with... Uh, there's two that I feel are, are reasonable. So we're going to go with the um, the no kid windmill. reading the book. The kid, no, no windmill. The kid reading the book. Um, third, third, yeah, that one, yeah. Nope, that is not that. I'll try mm. the windmill and get my points back. All right, do it. Is it the T? Yes. You got your points back. The T. Yeah, that. that oh, no, that's. Oh, there's dice there. There's the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Much to Steph's enjoyment. <laughs> there is. There are dice there. And you said flavor with the T packet. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I, it's got to be that one. I did. 
feeling good. All right, this is for And it would have worked if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Oh. All right, here we go, Shrey. I'm going to flip it over. All right, I got it. Okay, let me look at this closer. Closer. Last two rounds, right here. Oh. All oh, for the money. Yeah, all oh, for the money. <laughs> yeah, earlier we, we played Master Word. And we got in this extra bonus game of Windmill Cozy Stories. I need to look through the three-player box and find more games we could play like this. Uh, yeah, there's a big, huge box that are literally... Well, I gave you one. I, think I mean, we... you could definitely should... play the crew on the stream. Everybody has a hand of cards. I mean, uh, it's, it's Yeah, but we've got online, maybe. Uh, yes. Sometimes. No. Yes. It depends on the site. Yukata works. We tested that. Uh, Board Game Arena sometimes works. Depending on the game it is. Mm, <laughs> it's gotcha. hard to know what games work. That one, that's a game we probably could play though. El Maestro? Yeah. Yeah. That's a drawing. Uh. Um. Yeah. I can't draw stick figures, but yeah. It's in the air. Oh, I know. I see that. It's like Pictionary Air without the electronic equipment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pictionary Air is great. I really like that. I've never played it. You played it over James and Seasons. Yeah, and I played it at Gen Con last year. Hmm. I forced Shrey to play. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, not for me. <laughs> Which one? Pictionary Air. Oh, uh, I, I could see why why it would be really fun with, with the right group. Just, yeah. that's not, yeah. Just not us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek, uh, the, the crew is on tabletop, that is on Board Game Arena. So we, it might work. It might be too much processing to work, though. It depends on whether Cosmos is cool with it, so. Yeah, well, it's on Board Game Arena, so that that's all. One would assume that. That's all but, accurate. TTS is not all accurate. Yeah, it's not always legit. Yeah. Licensed and sanctioned and, yeah. But Board Game Arena is all licensed and sanctioned or whatever you just said. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll, we'll do this. Yes. Uh, the flavor of the game was pleasant and light. The It involved a captain and a jetpack and throwing people overboard. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> this might be too obvious. Uh, what? First staff. Or it may not be... No, no, actually, I think this isn't going to work at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, you know... Um, hmm. <laughs> Still trying to figure out the jetpack thing. Um, this is a bad clue. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the boat with the mermaid and the whale because that's no. Nope. Yeah, mm, I didn't think so. Oh no! Is that what you were thinking? That's what I was thinking. I have one other guess, but uh, I don't. 
Before what you... else was with the jetpack? The captain. There was there was a captain. A captain and a jetpack. Yeah. Hmm. Something about throwing people overboard. And throwing people overboard. Yeah. Hmm. Trey's really mean. He likes to throw people overboard. What if that's the one I wanted? Oh, I was just looking at it. <laughs> is, is that moon eating a meeple? It's a star. The moon is eating a star. It kind of looks like a meeple. He's so cute. It's like Pac-Man. Could be that one. It could be that one. It could be that one. You should put your windmill on it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't care if Shrey gets some points and catches up to you. No. <laughs> I'm just signing them catching up to you. No. Oh, yes. So it could be that. It could also be this again. Oh. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's Let me look closely. Probably at it. a good a good guess. Yeah, it could be several. So I'm I'm not going to. Yeah, it could be this too. Before you say Shrey, I want to guess after Michael guess one more time. And then guess, but go back and forth till we finally get it. No, <laughs> I, just, I, just have, I have one more guess. I want you to explain your. I want you. I want you to figure out what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, uh, it's really difficult. <laughs> what are the chances that you would get it, though? I'm going to, I'll do this one. My second guess was this girl here with the blue. Well, let me do my first chance. The first chance is this. I know. Michael is correct. Yeah. Oh! So, so step, so step, step, step. What is, um, what is, uh, what's a light game? That involves a captain in a jetpack and throwing people overboard. Oh come on! <laughs> it's 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 your favorite. It was one of your favorite mechanics, also. Yeah. With the with the so it's. And it has a hot air balloon in it. A hot air balloon in it. With a jetpack? I just can't remember a game with a jetpack. Yeah, Derek's got it. Oh. Celestria. Oh. Celestria. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so the, yeah. the what happens when you get the same one that someone else has already had? It makes it difficult. But you pulled it off rather well. I've enjoyed Shrey's stories the most. Well, yeah, he's, <laughs> of I, any of us, including I, myself. I am not a storyteller. I'm a storyteller of like real stories. Right. I can't do these made up ones. But clearly I can guess them. Celestia is such a good game. It is. I've never played it. Oh, that's good. Have you have you played Cloud Nine? Have I played Cloud Nine? Yeah. Of course. This is Celestia. What? Celestia is the remake of Cloud Nine. What? Yeah, it's a pretty version. I did not know that. Yeah. I thought Celestia was something else. Nope. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Derek says, hmm. hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say... I'm using my windmill final answer. Yeah. So, pretty much all I have to do is guess this. Yeah, that's all you got to do. All I got to do is guess no, this. No, I don't want you to guess this. Ah. If Shrey gets it right, then we tie. Yeah. If he uses his windmill, then Shrey and I tie. If I use my windmill and I get it, then I tie you. If mm -hmm. I use my windmill and don't get it, then you win because and Steph loses a point, and then Steph and I will be in last together. <laughs> <laughs> It's a no. win-win for me. <laughs> do we snack while gaming? I do. Yeah. As long as you're careful with the components. You know, I don't I don't Cheeto finger all the cards. But yeah, I I I, I do clean snacks. Into the woods, or are the woods into you? <laughs> mm-hmm. Into the woods, or are the woods into you? I'm going to guess this guy down here. With no windmill. No windmill. I don't need a windmill. If I get one point, it's, uh, I win. <laughs> but there are so many it could have been. You're right. No, no. That was the, that was the one. But this is the one <laughs> that the tree is coming out of your house. And it's, it's like the tree is like, and then the trees are like... <laughs> And, and then, then the uh, and then there's in the tree, and then the trees are into the thing down here. I'm not Except good only at one this tree. game. You're fine at the game. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that is windmill cozy stories. <laughs> so you know, great big versions of these cards, along with the small versions of each of the cards. Yes. So. Um, that's true, Derek. Only one with woods, I guess. I should have said the tree into the well, trees. Oh, this is sort of in the woods. Into the this trees. This could be in the woods. The tree. This owl could be in the woods, but you don't know it because you can't see the rest of the woods. The tree is into you. I don't know. I don't know. I could tell. Well, the, the tree might be into that person. <laughs> you can't really tell. I it's don't know. I didn't know Holding what to say. on for dear life. Do you guys snack while gaming? I know you already answered this, yes. but my answer is I usually don't like at cons. I just don't eat. <laughs> just no, the answer is you don't eat. Yeah, this is probably true. You you are very games you're, games games. Well, you're a very particular eater. So yeah, there uh, are not many things you will eat. No, this is true. We were talking about the Patreon today a little bit. And what we would do for different tiers and stuff. So that will we'll map out a plan for that. Yeah, we'll map out a plan. We would we would stop the stream and then come right back. Except I don't want to lose Shrey again. We, we've we've lost Shrey once already. I know. <laughs> so we'll probably just end it in a in a couple minutes anyway. Um, but yep. this was fun. I'm glad we got to play it. One more off of the shelf. Thank you, Shrey, mm. for joining us. Absolutely. Of course. And, uh, yeah. you know, it seems to work fine until it's not. Until the, until the stream pauses and, yeah. Until you have to switch over to the, to the uh, yeah. intro screen. And then we can test that as we leave. As we leave. We're going to have to we'll test, test it. it. <laughs> uh, because we'll have plenty of that. Reasons. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we definitely need to hopefully do more of this more often so that we can get some of the three and four player games out of the bin. Yeah, it's a bunch. 
See, we've got a normal review shelf, and then we've had to move all the three-player games to a bin. So it's the review bin. The review bin. So, yeah. Yeah. That's Thanks, fun. Ray. Yeah. You're we okay. will be back Wednesday. We'll be back Wednesday. With more games, because yep. that's what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> this is a special. This is a special day. Yeah, this was we're gonna, we we had some time and we're like we need to prepare because when it's Saturday we have Eyes from Lucky Duck coming on, gonna teach some games to us, and um, we have a lot of great giveaways that day, so it's gonna be awesome. So be here if you want to win board games. If you want to win Kingdom Rush, which is huge, or if you want to win Chronicles of Crime fourteen hundred, then you have to be present to win. Yep, and uh, yep. we got all that going on. Yep. Saturday, starting at 2 Central. Saturday. So we were going to give, give away the games after we played them. Yep. Yeah. But, well, and they'll be to active users in the chat who have Correct. talked within, like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or something. Whenever I'd we probably did. I'd probably say 30. Yeah, it's but I want, them, I want them to be present at yeah. the time. Well, they have to be present at the time. Yeah. If they don't say, well, who I want, we're going to choose another one. <laughs> <laughs> I won. That's fair. That's fair. All right. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be, and then, you know, we'll play Chronicles of Crime. Everybody can help us solve the crime. And uh, then we'll play Kingdom Rush and hope to do We played an intro to 1400, didn't we? We played the first scenario. We'll be, we will be playing the second one. Mm. There, I think there's five or three in the box. I don't, I don't know. know. But yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We will be back Wednesday at 5 p.m. Yep. Maybe, probably not with Shrey, but <laughs> so Shrey's Shrey's just saying. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna All cut, right. and then we'll try and be back if yeah, we can. And we'll see if this works. <laughs> <laughs>